One way to be recession proof is to build connections, relationships with other like-minded people like yourself, okay? Now, one thing that has happened in the last year, year and a half, with all of those people I've mentioned, Alex, Brittany, Sebastian, Steve Parisi, Brittany Green, um, I've paid these people thousands of dollars, anywhere from hundreds to thousands of dollars to work with them exclusively, one-to-one, -to, -one, to grow, grow with them and learn with them. But over time, because of the relationship that I built with them, I don't pay a dime to get access to Alex Alboran, to Brittany Green, to Steve Parisi, to Sebastian Boyer. These are all business owners that offer products and services that cost money, that over the years increase in value. It's called inflation. So if I don't have to pay that person, that makes that particular product or service inflation proof. Why? Because now I don't have to come out of pocket with my worthless piece of trash called fiat currency. That's worth less than if I would have pulled it out three, four, five years ago. It's now worth less and I got to pull out more to pay for the same service. So a way around that is through either option one, bartering, option two, exchanging value for value. So because I honor and I glorify these people that I work with, they develop such a strong relationship, connection, friendship, business. I send them business. They send me business. I shout them out. They shout me out. I don't have to pay them a dime for what they do. They don't pay me a dime. They don't have to pay to get access to me. Okay. For my clients, those of you who are watching, I uh, say Terry, for example, who's in the house, lifetime client. She paid one time for a service I provide financial coaching, consulting, accountability. She paid one time to get access to me for life. No questions asked. So for however long Terry or I live, she never has to hire another financial coach or consultant ever again. Why? She has access to one. She has the keys to my kingdom up here, my mind. She has access to the keys to the kingdom so that she can do more with her resources here on earth and experience heaven, utopia, paradise, whatever you want to call it. I say experiencing heaven here on earth, which is freedom, financial freedom, happiness, liberty, pursuit of happiness. I mean, you, you go down the line, right? So that is a super, I'm telling you, very effective way to be recession proof, depression proof, inflation proof, develop relationships with people, sow seed into them, expect nothing in return, right? And when you have that mentality of expecting nothing in return, but simply giving from the heart, it is a universal fact. It is also a kingdom rule in the constitution that you will be replenished more than what you gave. If you ever visit a kingdom in the past, you look at history, Whenever a, a king or a queen enters into another kingdom, someone else's domain, that king or queen or even citizen that enters into another domain, another territory, they bring gifts. It's protocol to bring gifts for that person. Why? You're giving glory to that king of that territory, of that domain or that queen. You're giving glory. You're setting the first impression your etiquette, your ethics are showing, you're impressing upon the king or queen. You are putting pressure, pressure on the king, on the queen to return a gift so that you don't leave their kingdom empty handed. That does not look good. If the king or queen that you visited, you brought a gift, right? And then you leave that domain empty handed, right? That doesn't make sense. So it is this constant reciprocation, value for value, very unique way. A lot of people aren't teaching this on how to, you know, remain from recession, depression, hyperinflation, volatility in the marketplace, loss of job. Like imagine if you, I'm sure many of you have lost jobs, you've lost opportunities, you've lost money, 
And in those trying times, you may have had to reach out to somebody for help. And they either A, helped you or B, they did not help you. If you built strong relationships in good seasons of abundance and prosperity, when winter comes, when it is a slow season, a hard season, those same people that you serve, you poured into, the likelihood of them feeding you in a time of crisis increases. And if they don't, well, then that is a what? You now get to evaluate that character. Say, oh, whoa, whew, I've been feeding into your kingdom. We've been going back and forth. And all of a sudden, you left me to the wolves, unprotected, naked. What are you doing? Right? So now you get to evaluate who your uh, compadres are. You get to evaluate who your brothers and sisters are. You get to evaluate your confidants, your partners. Okay. When I was in a bad season, I had an Alex. I had a Steve Parisi. I had a Sebastian. I had a Brittany. I had, you know, other people in my life that are close to me that I was able to lean on for a temporary period of time. Did not cost me a dime. Why? Because I deposited seeds of glory, seeds of love, seeds of happiness, joy, seeds of partnership, seeds of, you know, exchange of value and wisdom and knowledge, business, money, exchanging money.